Forestry 105. We're going to do one of our first and, and most basic labs. It's our uh, stem density count that we uh, do on an annual basis. Uh, the reason why I do this lab is because you're new. Uh, you have already uh, developed uh, uh, certain interpretations of uh, what different uh, forestry practices may involve and, uh, involve, and we're going to look at uh, a couple of different uh, scenarios starting with uh, clear cuts uh, and we're going to compare reproduction methods. The uh, reproduction uh, methods that we'll be looking at uh, over the course of the next two weeks are uh, shelter wood, um, sea tree uh, modifications of these kinds of silvicultural techniques. But today or, or this afternoon we're going to look at the clear cut and the definition of a clear cut is uh, uh, where you remove the existing forest stand uh, in order to create a new community. Basically, uh, you're removing all the trees in an area. And what this does when you do that is, uh, one, you make the entire area available for reproduction and it results in an even age stand. We'll go over these terms uh, in class and lab while we're in, in lab. But we're going to make, uh, we're going to create an even age stand uh, by clear cutting. Uh, a stand where most of the trees, too, a stand where most of the trees live together and are equals ecologically in age. And three, we're going to look at a, a type of cut that works well for tree species that can reproduce or regenerate in direct sunlight. In other words, they're intolerant and they grow best in high levels of light being intolerant uh, to shade. And some, as you'll find, uh, find out over the course of the next few weeks, that some trees prefer a lot of sunlight when they're in these early stages and some trees must have uh, more uh, in terms of shade. The procedure for this particular lab, uh, randomly select two sites, flag a 120, 120th acre plot that plot having a radius, radius of 26.4 or 26 foot 4 inches in an 8 year old clear cut that's very young and a 35 year old clear cut. The second thing we're going to do in, the, in these two areas is we're going to uh, do a 100% count of all woody plants. And you may be wondering how you can count that many plants because there's going to be a large number of uh, tree seedlings and saplings in these uh, uh, areas. The type of equipment that you're going to need for this lab is a chalk paddle. Uh, bearing in mind we're going to be counting 100 percent of all the woody stems in these two plot areas. Uh, this is a leather paddle with a screened uh, uh, orifice which allows chalk once you uh, slap the uh, chalk paddle on a tree. It makes a mark but it's not a permanent mark and uh, rather than count, recount trees you can mark them with the chalk paddle and uh, as you go through your plot you'll know which trees have been counted which trees have. The other uh, thing you'll need is flagging. You need to flag not only the center line of your plot or the center tree of your plot but also when you uh, measure your 26 feet 4 inch uh, plot radius uh, you need to mark that perimeter uh, fairly well so that uh, you'll not step outside your boundary or the boundary of your plot and count trees that, that aren't within your plot. And I said to bear in mind that it's a 120th acre plot that we're going to be measuring. And <clears throat> the other piece of equipment is uh, just a simple 50 foot tape and that's also uh, very important uh, when we measure our plot radius to get our plots. Uh, that 120th acre that we're striving for. Uh, there's two areas that uh, you'll be working in. One is a uh, clear cut. That was a clear cut eight years ago. Uh, it's still a clear cut now, but it's a young maturing forest with a, a lot of uh, steam, woody stems in it. Uh, the other is a 35 year old clear cut. You might want to exercise a little caution uh, when you're uh, conducting this lab, particularly if this lab's in the summertime um, or fall like it is now. There's still snakes uh, and bees and uh, in order to 
to uh, accomplish a 100% uh, count, you may be down on your hands and knees uh, crawling through your, your plot. And that's uh, part of this lab, to get you uh, out in the forest and, uh, and have you see the forest as it, as it actu actually is. But uh, exercise a little caution uh, in terms of uh, different things that may crawl or, or fly in the air or crawl. There are three questions that I would like for you to answer while conducting this lab. One, what is the major species that you encounter? Two, how many stems are there per plot? Multiply that times 20. That gives you a good idea of how many species that you may have uh, per acre on an acre basis. And three, how do the plots differ? And how are the plots alike?